Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the caustic corrosion. Description of damage. Localized corrosion due to the concentration of caustic, alkaline, solutions such as sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide and or corrosive salts from those solutions that usually occurs under evaporative or high heat transfer conditions commonly called caustic gouging as illustrated in figure inside diameter deposits on carbon steel boiler tube with damage due to caustic corrosion. Also, corrosion resulting in general thinning can occur at elevated temperatures. Depending on alkali or caustic solution strength. Affected materials Primarily carbon steel, low alloy steels, and 400 series stainless steel. Carbon steel is the material most commonly used in situations where caustic corrosion is a concern. 300 series stainless steel is generally resistant to caustic corrosion until passivity is damaged, which can occur in the approximate temperature range of 160 degrees Fahrenheit to 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on the concentration, 300 series stainless steel can also be susceptible to caustic stress corrosion cracking at these elevated temperatures. Critical factors. Major contributing factors are the presence of caustic, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. In high solution strength caustic, temperatures above about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. With the temperature limit depending on the caustic concentration will cause general corrosion of carbon steel. For localized caustic gouging to occur, a concentrating mechanism must exist to build up the caustic strength or salt concentration. Steam blanketing can cause localized caustic gouging. Caustic can become concentrated by departure from nucleate boiling evaporation and deposition of salts higher temperatures help produce a concentrating mechanism thereby increasing the corrosivity of the solution while also generally increasing the corrosion rate affected units or equipment Localized caustic corrosion, caustic gouging, is most often associated with boilers and steam generating equipment, including heat exchangers. Accelerated localized corrosion can occur in preheat exchangers, furnace tubes, and transfer lines. If the caustic is not effectively mixed in the oil stream, units that use caustic for removing sulfur compounds from process streams can also be subject to caustic corrosion. Heat trace tanks used for caustic storage and caustic feed equipment near the process injection location can suffer caustic corrosion if temperatures get too high. Appearance or morphology of damage As illustrated in figures, 
Caustic gouging is typically characterized by localized metal loss that may appear as grooves in a boiler tube or locally thinned areas under insulating deposits. Prevention, Mitigation In steam generating equipment, caustic corrosion is best prevented through proper design. In process equipment, caustic injection facilities should be designed to allow proper mixing and adequate dilution of caustic in order to avoid the concentration of caustic on hot metal surfaces carbon steel and stainless steels have serious corrosion problems in high strength caustic solutions at elevated temperatures alloy 400 and some other nickel based alloys exhibit much lower corrosion rates inspection and monitoring for general corrosion ut using a straight beam or ut scanning or other similar techniques can measure general loss for localized corrosion manual ut including ut scanning or a ut can be used angle beam SWUT or PAUT or TOFD may be necessary to determine the extent of localized corrosion. RT has also been used within the limits of the technique. Permanently mounted thickness monitoring sensors can be used. Heat or steam tracing can cause localized corrosion at the point of contact due to locally high temperatures or improper installation this is an area to focus on for inspection caustic injection sites should be examined and monitored as discussed in API 570 and API 574 when internal access is not available for example steam equipment tubing small diameter equipment or equipment with ports VT may be performed using a buroscope as illustrated in figures examples of buroscope and PAUTTOFD related mechanisms caustic stress corrosion cracking caustic gouging has also been referred to as ductile gouging Summary Description Localized corrosion due to the concentration of caustic or alkaline salts that usually occurs under evaporative or high heat transfer conditions typically characterized by localized metal loss which may appear as grooves in a boiler tube or locally thinned areas under insulating deposits temperature range exposure to high solution strength caustic can result in general corrosion of carbon steel above 175 degrees fahrenheit and very high corrosion rates above 200 degrees fahrenheit 300 series stainless steel have serious corrosion problems in high strength caustic solutions in temperature range of 160 degrees fahrenheit to 210 degrees fahrenheit affected metallurgy 
primarily carbon steel, low alloy steels and 300 series stainless steel. Prevention Proper design Upgraded to alloy 400 and some other nickel base alloys. Inspection methods UT scans and RT can be used. Steam generation equipment may require Visual inspection with the use of Buroscope Practice time Question number 1 Caustic corrosion is mostly associated with Answer is A Question number two. Which the following material exhibit much lower caustic corrosion rates? At temperature above about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer is A. Question number three. What inspection methods are used for caustic corrosion detection? Answer is A. Question number four. Steam blanketing in steam generating equipment can lead to Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.